Ja, dann herzlich willkommen zur Pressekonferenz nach dem WKBBL-Spiel ähm, vom WBC Bayreuth gegen die Fraport Skyliners. 4.120 Zuschauer sahen einen 71 zu 79 Sieg der Gastmannschaft. Links von mir sitzt Marco Vandenberg, Trainer der B vom BBC Bayreuth, den ich nun um seinen ersten Kommentar zum Spiel bitte. Uh, I want to do this in English. Uh, um, obviously, uh, we are uh, extremely uh, happy with this win. Um, every game is a big game in the BBL, but um, for us, road wins like this are uh, are a bonus. Uh, we feel that at home we are already um, a feared opponent and a, a team that can play with rhythm against any team. But on the road so far, I feel we have not uh, played up to our potential in against um, quality teams. And I rank uh, Frankfurt as a quality team. They have a bit of bad luck with player uh, personnel, but it's to me a quality team. And um, we were able to, to stay in front even though we made many mistakes, many stupid fouls. Uh, but on the other end of the floor, we made big shots. And uh, we also made our free throws when it really mattered. So I'm extremely happy. It was very um, uh, nice experience for me to be here. Beautiful gym, uh, club with a lot of tradition. And uh, like I say, we, uh, we want to be in the middle of the pack after 25 games and then see where we can go. In order to get there in this strong BBL, you need to win games like this. So after 25 games, if we can say we're close to the top eight, maybe we can surprise. But our first goal is to be in the middle of the pack uh, and to be competitive when the final games are there. Well, in order to get there, wins like this are extremely important. So I'm very happy and very proud of our team. Gibt es Fragen an Marco van den Okay, it was the fifth uh, win in the sixth game for, for your team right now. So how important is this win when you uh, see the next games, Alba, Bamberg are coming, so very uh, difficult game for, for your team? I personally believe any game is difficult. And Bamberg is coming to, uh, as Bremerhaven also, is coming to uh, Bayreuth. And at home we are, uh, we are feared also for those teams. But um, very important because it keeps you your momentum going. And if you, if you compare the two teams, Frankfurt has not been able to get momentum in the league yet. It will come, I believe, but uh, it, it hasn't happened. And momentum in such a strong, equal league, uh, I mean, Göttingen is now last, but they can easily beat many teams, I think, on personnel. Momentum is very important. So for us to prepare for a whole week for, to go into Berlin, yes, that's, that's, that's very positive. Weitere Fragen? Dann bitte ich nun Muli Katsurin, Trainer der Fraport Skyliners, zu seinem Kommentar zum Spiel. Congratulations, Marco. Nice win. Well, I felt we were a little bit soft today. Defensively, we didn't make the necessary stops. And always when you play against teams that your level more or less, uh, you got to learn to make these stops. You could see the defense when they started the game. They knocked down two of our players, Jamai on the face, uh, Danilo down. They play like you have, to, like you play, you know, in a way game. They play physical, and we didn't react. So uh, I had the feeling that we should lead the first half, but we didn't. Second half we were trailing trying to change the game, but always there was something something missing. At the first, at the fourth quarter, I think Gibson uh, made the game with some great shots. So we were only good enough to be close, but not to win this game. Fragen? Amelie Katsuri? Especially by rebounds, um, players like Davidson uh, sometimes make maybe the wrong way under the basket or did not strong enough go to the basket. Is it a physical problem or do they take the, the, the wrong ways maybe? I, I cannot explain you players, you know, if you have questions, really, I'm serious, you have to ask the players. 
why this, why that, you know, because uh, you don't teach uh, players 26, 28, 27, 29 how to take rebounds and stuff like that. Everybody bring from his own habits what he have. So I j can just say that Davidson was sick in the morning. He played a little bit sick. He was not 100%, you know, right, but uh, I don't think that should be uh, anywhere an excuse. But uh, so it's not only uh, Jamayo. You, you ask about Jamayo, but I don't think it's only about Jamayo. Our defense was not good, good enough. Some certain possessions we made like terrible mistakes. We let them score easy points. If they score 79, almost 80 points. Here, we are not, you know guys, we are not definitely a team that score 80 points to win the game. We score 71, which is great for our roster now. So the only way we can win is by bringing defense like we did in Hagen. Today it was not, so we lost the game. And there were also um, little disputes with the refs. Um, McKinney got uh, called a technical foul for, I think, nothing. You also got a technical foul? I didn't get a technical foul. You didn't? Excuse me? You didn't get no. a technical foul? No. Okay. I didn't get, you ask me, I didn't get technical foul. I never get technical fouls. Okay, the bench got the technical it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But um, was this also a um, reason for the, for the loss that you called the third quarter? Look, look, when you lose a game, first of all, I never speak about referees, you know me. But if you lose a game and you start to say referees, and it's not serious. It's, it's not serious. But uh, I can say generally, not about this referee, not about this game. When a referee make mistake and he try uh, to show it and make also technical foul, so it's like maybe eight points play because you don't make the, the foul you're supposed to make, they make a basket. Now you got the ball, you have a chance to go and score, they call you a technical foul. So they got the ball, they go to the line and they got another ball from the side. I'm not talking about the situation here, I'm talking generally about uh, this. But, uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to speak to take this to the referees. When if uh, the referees didn't score 79 points, 79 points were scored by players of Bayreuth, and this is something we need to focus about. It's uh, surely bad, surely hard to lose. But is there may, maybe one friendly perspective in, in, in this game with an empty world? Team play good game. That's you know. I said they asked me what will be because Luer left and all this, and I said it will be no vacuum. Somebody will step up. It was team, and I am happy for him because they need this confidence. I always believe on him. If he play close to the basket with his uh, size and uh, more way of mobility, he can make more. Uh, today it was good. He played good. He also made you know all the free throws. Is 100 percent, but you know when the team lose, so you know, yeah. <laughs> but for sure it was nice. I think nice to see for everybody that team showed that he can play. So he did a good job uh, to step into the into the role uh, which was uh, which Sean Louis was playing. No, he didn't play on the on lower position. He was playing all the time on the same position, yeah. all the time. Uh, John was sharing mm. with Jamario, and uh, uh, but uh, you know now the lineup is different because John is not here. So we have to give more players to the to, to you know Jamario team. You know they should get more minutes because they have option to to help us more. Mm. So he took it with two hands. He played good. I am very happy for him because I believe in him. Did you step forward by searching another player? Or do I have to ask him? You have to ask Kamil, it's better. You are, but you are involved. I'm, sure. I'm involved in everything, but better you ask Kamil. Okay. Timo? It was also a problem today that um, the ball didn't switch so much that you your players take um, throws from f far behind and um, Maybe not optimal shots. Look, uh, I think that at certain uh, minutes our decisions 
was not good enough. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't take so many shots from three, you know, we took only 10 shots. But also when you take 10 shots, you can make bad decisions. And some of the shots were not at the right uh, moment, at the right place. Uh, we should play more inside and I, I can say, you know, from, from 10 balls, you should go nine times inside because, you know, we got team in, in very good uh, uh, performance and uh, they just start to foul us, you know, the, at the last quarter and every time you push the ball inside, you go to the line. But, you know, it's pressure time. We want players want to change everything in one minute. It doesn't work like that in uh, basketball. You know, on the other side, Gibson make two two important threes, so it's frustrating. It's not it's not so easy, you know. From the side, it looks to us like to count the mistakes and all that, but it's not it's not it's not easy. I, I don't think we lost the game like at the end. I think we I think we lost the game at the beginning because I think uh, after first quarter uh, we scored 26 points. You know, the game was like running. We did what what we wanted to do. And then we start again very bad uh, second second quarter and we, we almost didn't score until the last uh, three or four minutes. So the game changed again and you know then they have fresh legs because their rotation is much better at the moment. They have fresh legs and they caught us in tough situation. We miss uh, some good shots for mid-range. That's it. Well, that's yeah, a question uh, concerning a, a situation at the end of the game. Um, uh, you have been, you seem to be very upset about uh, the foul team team Ulbricht uh, choose to, uh, to to make to stop the game. Um, uh, what would have been the, the alternative uh, to this foul? No, I, I, I saw you didn't like the foul. <laughs> no, I, I, if you if you want to foul, mm -hmm. foul. Immediately when the offense start, don't let them, it's, you know, 30 or something seconds, you let them cut the clock, cut the clock, and then when they come close to the 24, you foul. Mm -hmm. So if, <laughs> it's too late, you know, but, you know, this is, this is, the game was already done, you know, it was just emotion in the game. The game was already done anyway. It was, it's in their hands completely. We were just following. Wenn es dann keine Fragen mehr gibt, danke fürs Kommen und freue mich sehr, am Dienstag gegen Bank zu begrüßen. Thank you.